Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Sharon and I do all things anti-aging. Now, um, if you have the time, please consider subscribing. We're going to be talking about uh, a skincare product that is sort of a old-fashioned, yep it is, and it is glycerin. You might be thinking, glycerin, do we not use that in baking? As a matter of fact, we actually do use it in baking, but it's also in so many skincare products. Now, uh, hyaluronic acid, uh, glycerin, a few other products are humescents. And what a humescent is, it actually um, attracts moisture to the skin or it holds moisture in the skin. And it is in so many skincare products um, to be honest with you, you'd be blown away if you get one of your in, um, products, you read the back, you'll find glycerin. And it's pr it's probably quite high up in the ingredients um, uh, list. So what did, does it do? Well, I'll tell you guys, um, like I said, it's in so many products, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, hydrates the outer layer of the skin and that's the stratium corneum uh just the outer layer of your skin sounds a bit technical but it's not it's just the outer layer of your skin it improves your barrier function it provides um protection against um skin irritations now if you're using something like um a retinol uh and your skin's a bit irrit ir irritated um, when you put on something with uh, glycerin, it will really soothe the skin because glycerin, although it does hold in water, is also a skin comf comforter. Um, it really is. It just comforts the skin, it helps the skin heal, it holds in moisture and it, is a, it has a barrier function which it is, is great for the skin and I swear to God, if you um, look at any of your products. Now, I just bought one here today. Where is it? If I could... Do you know, see this desk? It's like the line, the lip witch in the wardrobe. You put it down, next thing is, it disappears. Gone to Narnia. You can't find it anywhere. And then it reappears sometime later. So, where is it? Let me, let me look, let me look. Oh. It's not even on the desk. Now, here we have, it's the Aqua Gel. Now, what it does, uh, what it has, rather, should I say, it's a creme gel with glycerin and panthenol. I can never say that word, panthenol. Now, Glycerin, like I said, is a humescent. It attracts water. It, um, it helps with um, barrier function. Panthenol is also a humescent and is a derivative from vitamin V5. And like I said, it, um, Panthenol, where would you find it? You ever heard that um, product? I'm sure you have. Um, Pantene. Pantene has Panthenol in it. Um, you have Baby's um, Nappy Rash Cream panthenol in it because panthenol it also helps with um healing it does and so does glycerin glycerin has a healing complex in it as well so anyway like i said uh, panthenol is a derivative of vitamin uh, vitamin b5 um and it's also a humic a humicent so what else where where else would we find um, glycerin and our beauty products. I bought this one. <coughs> so anyway, this one, um, I looked at the ingredients. Here we have it. Um, the first ingredients in this one was aqua, water. I thought aqua was water. I, I suppose it is inverted commas, so aqua, water. Um, glycerin. We have the Q10 Intensive Serum. Ingredients is aqua, 
some other big long word that I can't say. Glycerin. L'Oreal Vitalift. And this is the L'Oreal Vitalift and anti wrinkle and extra firming um, advanced pro retinol um, cream or serum. It's a serum. Let's look at this right now. I swear to God. Look at that. I need a magnifying glass. Um, the first ingredients is aqua. Now, it, they must be now thinking um, people are so silly that they don't know what aqua is. So it's aqua dash water. And that's why I was making the mistake with this one. Aqua. Um, where is the... Now it does go down a wee tiny bit. How many? Um, one, two, three. The third is glycerin on your L'Oreal Vitalift. So that's that one. Now we have the, remember I showed you this one, the Optimum Day Cream Retinol. Where is the glycerin? And this one it is actually... Da 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 da. So that's one, two, one, two, three. Oh, it's actually quite far down. We have glycerin in this one. It must be the tenth ingredients. Not great. You want uh, a glycerin to be at least the third or fourth ingredients in a product. Now with this one, the Q10 Aqua. Uh, sorry. Q10 Aqua. Q10 Intensive Serum, it is the third ingredient. With this one, the Aqua Gel, it is the second ingredient. With the this one, the Cyrene, uh, Cyrene or whatever you call it, second ingredient. Now let's see, what else do we have? Now we have the Ole Anti-Wrinkle Firm and Lift Deep wrinkle treatment that's it there so let's see the ingredients aqua glycerin second ingredients now now we have the the same optimum retinol but this is the night cream and the second ingredient is because i did no Third ingredients, I do apologise. So we have aqua, um, pana, pe penithal, pa pa pananithal, or whatever. It's the same as the other one, but they, they call them different names. And glycerin. Now, this one. I showed you before. It is the Lacora Healthy Glow Exfoliating Toner, 5% glycolic acid, aloe vera, Vija or aloe vera and ginseng. Now look at that ball. If you're into pixie, this is an absolute dupe for pixie. They look exactly the same. I swear to God. Exactly the same, exactly the same ingredients as pixie. Pure dupe. How they get away with it, I don't know. But it's cheap and I bought it. Now, look at that. Yep, can't read it, but um, I did get a magnifying glass because what they have is they have white on a lime green, so you actually can see the ingredients, but there's um, glycerin in this and it took me about an hour to find it. Why don't you just write the stuff? Look how easy that is and then look at that. So difficult to read. And if, you know, when you're into anti-aging, you're getting that wee bit older uh, and your eyes aren't that great. So write it that we can actually read it. Please, um, um, you know, companies, write it as we can read it. Now, there's another one here. It's, again, Ole. It's the Ole Anti-Wrinkle Firm and Lift 2-in-1. And this is the Booster Serum. And um, the third ingredient in this is glycerin. I'm just showing you how many products 
that there is. Now we have the, the Lyacomb. Again, this one was very difficult to read. Now, the bits at the top were easy, but when it came down to the actual um, ingredients, it was like they'd done it in um, 3D. You know, when, when you're, you're looking at it and it's all sort of a fuzzy, but the bit at the top was so easy to read. Anyway, there's glycerin in this too. Then let's get to face masks. You're cheap and cheerful. 59 cent face mask. Um, ingredients. Second ingredient. First ingredients. Aqua. Second ingredients. Glycerin. My sister bought me these. I told you that from um, for my Christmas. She bought me loads. Um, ingredients list. First ingredients. Water. Second ingredients. Glycerin. You probably will only be able to see that. Maybe you will. Now, glycerin comes in all sorts of a um, uh, in names, it's all the same thing, it's glycerin. And then we had the the eye patches. This might be a lot, well, that would be too small for you to see. No, it's too blurred. But the second ingredients in this as well is glycerin and the same with the little mouth patches. Um, I was very, very hard pushed to find a product that I had that didn't have glycerin in it. Why is that? Why is that? It's because glycerin is such a good product. Now, it's been on the go a lot longer than hyaluronic acid. Well, like I said, hyaluronic acid were born with it, but glycerin um, and the anti-aging world or the world of uh, cosmetics uh, and hair products has been there the longest and then they just, well, I suppose the beauty industry um, discovered how good hyaluronic acid is. Now, can we use hyaluronic acid with a glycerin? Absolutely. When you want to, to use um, hyaluronic acid, now, my mistake was I was using hyaluronic acid first, adding everything else at the end, but if you want to use hyaluronic acid, you would actually use uh, an antioxidant first, and that would be a vitamin C, um, vitamin A, uh, anything, well, vitamin C anyway. You'd put on your vitamin C, then you would add your um, uh, hyaluronic acid, then you would add all your other products, and then lastly, you would use a product that has a glycerin in it. You don't add pure glycerin to your face. Could, it could blister, so don't. Um, if you want to make one of your own little glycerin um, uh, sprays, you have to, to dilute it. If you just want a mist, you have to dilute a glycerin with pre predominantly a rose water. But you know something? I'm not going to advocate that unless you actually know what you're doing and you actually go and you um, study uh, the formula, study the, the, the correct mist, because if you, you just use uh, a raw glycerin on your face, it could actually cause you to blister. So please don't do that. Um, like I said, I, I, I'm, I'm no doctor. I'm no um, skincare professional. This is my own um, wee bit of research. Do your own research. Just a wee disclaimer here. Um, but I have found so many products with glycerin. They put it in because it's a great humescent. It does soothe and heal the skin. Um, do use it with a hyaluronic acid, but you would use your hyaluronic acid first, use your other products, but like I said, use, um, um, I would use my antioxidants first, um, hyaluronic acid, other products, last but not least, a glycerin um, in a skincare range that's going to lock in all that um, goodness it's going to give you a good barrier function. It's going to really be good for you. Anyway, guys, that's it. Loves and kisses. Talk to you soon. Bye.